with us tonight is a multi-talented and multi-vitamin selling Oscar winner with a new show about those things called orgasms. There's this thing in our culture with especially cisgendered heterosexual men of this is how you're supposed to be when you're orgasming. It's easy, it's like, okay, slot A goes into slot B and explosive, and that's how it works. But we need to include all the expressions of pleasure. It doesn't have to be genital focused. Orgasm can be anywhere on their body. I've always said that. Sex, Love and Goof is on Netflix now. Please welcome Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> Oh, you look great. I like that dress. Is that a dress or is that a skirt? It's a dress. I like the things you pick. That's why, you know, I started subscribing to Goop, like, right at the beginning. <laughs> Thank and you. And everyone would make fun of me because I'd be like, you know, on Goop it said, and now <laughs> I feel like the whole world has followed me. <laughs> How Thank long ago you. did you start the newsletter? I started in 2008. 2008, and now yeah. it has blossomed to become a, a company, a website, a brand, uh, a place where you can buy ivermectin. Yes? No, no you can't. No, that you cannot do. A religion to some? No, that, that not. A few people. Yeah, you, I've been talking to some people, and yeah, I think you could start a cult if you wanted to. Really? Yeah. That does not sound fun. It doesn't. No. Yeah, no. That's more of a guy thing, starting a cult, I think. It's more fun for men. But, um... So you've been doing this, and now you've, uh, a couple of television shows have come from this, and one of them is this Sex, Love, and Goop. And uh, this is, um, uh, which Goop sounds kind of gross when you put it next to Sex and Love, to be honest with you. That's why we did it. That's why you did it, okay. Yeah. Um, I was watching this show over the weekend, and um, the woman we saw in the clip, the woman with the... Jaya, yeah. Yeah. Now, she was laying on a... You saw this one, I guess? I've seen it, She's yes. She's laying on a, um, like a thing, right? And then her husband comes out, and he looks like, like a Marvel Comics villain from 1965, right? He's bald-headed. Oh, yep, yeah. I know what you mean. And he starts waving his hands over her like this, like, and like magic, like Doctor Strange or something. Yeah. And she starts writhing and moaning, and he's like, he's like, fake air rubbing her here, and she's going crazy, and then he's touching her ear, and she's like, uh, oh, and he's pulling imaginary strings, and she's going sexually crazy. Yeah. Now, that's nonsense, right? <laughs> you know, actually, no, it's not. That's the amazing thing, is that, I mean, energy is, energy is powerful. Have and you tried that? Um, no, no, I have not. <laughs> But I am open to trying it. Yeah. With I, you. Well, listen, I would, I don't think I have the powers. I would even let that guy do it to me just right. to see if anything was happening. Yeah, I would too. <laughs> <laughs> can we phone him up and see if his magic powers can get me going? Because that is something else. I bet they could. <laughs> <laughs> you have like five couples and then you introduce them to various experts in the field of sex. Yeah. And where do you get these people? Craigslist, or how do you find them? Yes, people? Craigslist. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's, yes, it's true that one of the focuses is sex, but it's also really, the show's really about intimacy as well. I think, you know, people who've been in long-term intimate relationships or even shorter intimate relationships, you know, like, things can come up really quickly that feel like disconnects or that keep you, you know, not quite telling yourself the whole truth. And... So we thought it'd be really interesting to make a show around this subject, you know, because it's an area where whatever's out of alignment in your life, it's going to show up in how you are with your partner. And so these couples we found, it was through a casting process. They were so brave. They were so amazing and really willing to be incredibly vulnerable. Yeah. In, I mean, on TV in order to try to get closer to themselves and their partners. So I was super impressed with them. I thought, and, you know, I've had so much amazing feedback from the show that, it's helped so many people. It's helped couples have difficult conversations with each other. I had one friend who said they kept pausing it and being like, okay, now we need to talk about this and we need to talk about that. So, Oh, really? I thank the couples for 
coming forward and like putting themselves on the line like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it, re it really is interesting to watch people. You have an older couple and it's funny yeah. because, you know, people think like, oh, well, they're old people. They're not, you know, we like to imagine that our parents aren't doing stuff, but right. they probably they're are. they're Randy. Yeah, and they're rolling around on the ground and then the, they're looking at them and, and they're just like kind of humping each other on the show. <laughs> And isn't that wonderful? <laughs> you know, you make it sound so appealing to me. I know, I ruin me, everything. Really. I know. You I know, it's like... What's this thing? This is oh. a, a scratcher or something? Well, it can be used a couple ways. So this is in the show, Jaya, the expert that you saw in the clip, she um, is talking about all the different kinds of touch, and she talks about different sexual blueprints um, that certain, pe certain people are turned on by different things. And there's like a kinky one, I think, that this goes with. And she puts this Wolverine claw down. Put your leg up here for me. My leg? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, gonna see you. How's uh -huh. that? Um, it's all right. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> not as good as I was imagining. This is something like I would get into a pork shoulder with. That's you know? right. <laughs> well, if you buy a second one, you can hold a cookbook on it. You can toss your salad. Yeah, with you can it. have a nice giant salad together. Yes, exactly. Um, so this show is uh, is you, you. I would imagine now that you do this like first run, that people are going to come out of the woodwork with all kinds of strange stuff. Do you try <laughs> this stuff out yourself? Um, like some of the modalities in the show. Yeah. Um, I've tried, you know, a couple of them. I haven't done, like, energetic stuff or sexological body work, which is pretty wild. But mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I think I would be open to trying it. Do you feel like any situation where there's somebody just kind of sitting there telling you and your, you know, husband or wife to do something is going to be sexually exciting just in the first place, right? Because you're not used to having a coach. I think you've been married for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to argue with that. <laughs> we're gonna take a break. We're gonna, I, you know, I like to buy stuff for my wife from Goop. I know. And, like Thank this you. is. I figure if it's on there, it might be something that she likes. It will be. So when we come back, we're gonna go through <laughs> your holiday because it's time. It's time to start getting stuff. That's right. We've got ships full of junk that nobody can get the stuff in right now. <laughs> so you have to order immediately, and we you come back. You gotta start early this year. Start yeah. early this year. We're gonna start early with Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> right after this. We'll be right back. We are back with Gwyneth Paltrow. It is that time of the year. It's where you consolidate. You pick your best, your most favorite items from Goop, and then you sell them to people. And they're good tips for uh, especially uh, clueless husbands like myself. And you yes. sell things like this. This is a uh, vitamin. Is this what was it? It's what, a what, supplement. A supplement. Mm -hmm. It's called DTF. <laughs> and it means, and stands for what we know from Jersey Shore it stands for. Right. Now, does this really work? Yes. It does. Yes. Well, you say yes in a very uh, sure yes. way. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> what happens if a man eats them? Should we find out? Well, yeah, I will take one. <laughs> I'll take. How many are you supposed to take? Uh, women are supposed to take two. So. All right, I'm gonna take four, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take. I hope, I hope nothing happens right away. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh, my God. I'll let you know. Molly is in for it. Now, this is a, uh, this is kind of cute. This is a, a croissant that if you open it up, you can put stuff in it. Now, how does this work with sex? That's just like a fun croissant. Oh, that's croissant. not croissant. Oh, yeah. you know what? That's a good place to keep your... <laughs> your DTF pills right exactly. in there. Like, <laughs> would you like a croissant? Thank you. This is something I've been seeing a lot and reading about, yes. and I wanted to try this because these are like super, what do they call these? The happy uh, strawberries Oishi or something? Oishi strawberries. Uh -huh. They are, we don't sell these at Goop, but we. Oh, you don't? Well, oh. we also like to link to fun things that other people sell too as part of the curation process. And these are apparently 
the most special strawberry in the whole world, and they're hydroponic. And Did you like one? I think they're like $50 or something. Are they really? I think so. Holy this moly. Their... Wow. Mm. Yeah, they're good. They're really they're good. They're really good. Yeah. I mean. Does anyone want one? Let's see. Yeah. Let's give them out. Yeah, all right. Yeah, pass really... these around. And hold on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Here, wow. you take the whole thing. Yeah, there you go. And let me know if you get sexually excited. Here. Here, take the rest of these, too. And then we have, oh, yeah, there you go. And then they have, do you mind if I eat the rest of yours? They're $50 each. each. here. Well, I hope you don't have COVID. I really don't. And then we have something that I've been seeing now. In fact, Bill Murray was wearing these on our show last week, and Guillermo's wearing them right now. Oh. These are... These are great. What are they called? These are... I forget the name of them, but they pump um, your legs. So, like, if you have lactic acid in your legs, they fill with air and they compress your legs. How do they feel, Guillermo? Real, real tight. Real tight. Real tight? Yeah, but they're very comfortable. Yeah. Why is it like, is it supposed to be zipped all the way up? Yeah, because, but the belly doesn't let it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and then, what do those do exactly for a person? So, they, they compress your legs, so they help with circulation, and if you work out, like, it'll, it'll circulate the lactic acid out of the muscle, and... Oh. Okay. Good, very good for circulation. Yeah, apparently. it's I guess apparently. it's a good workout, so we're not gonna need either uh, of those. No, uh, yeah, those are not something. But this is something you would buy for anyone? Well, this is like if you have a, someone in your life who's very fit or into wellness or they're doing a lot of walking or hiking. I or, see, they would put these on. They would put those and on. And then we take a picture and then like 10 years later we make fun of them, right? <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you and Oprah have the same favorite thing? Is there a fight? Oh, I defer to Oprah. Always. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. So if she were to have something, you would just back off and say, that's not, yeah, that's not if going on my list. she asked me to, yeah. If she did. Oh, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you think Oprah's got these? I don't know, but maybe I should send her some. Yes, a please send Oprah yeah. a pair of those. I think I should. And see what happens. I think that's a good idea. Well, it's very good to see you. Thank you for the ideas. Gwyneth Paltrow, everybody. <laughs> Sex, Love, and Goop is a show on Netflix. And Goop's gift guide at Goop.com. We'll be back with Cal Penn. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>